Hey, my name is Lucian, you're watching The Modern Assassin, an up-to-date guide on how to make the most out of your assassin in the fine game of Guild Wars. Now today, uh, I've had a bit of a cold still, so excuse the nasally voice, but this is the first in long line of Fissure Voice Speed Clear videos. If you're wondering why I haven't posted any videos recently, it's because I've been gone um, on a little, little bit of a vacation for the last two weeks, so that's why I apologize, uh, but not something preventable. Anyways, you can see right here, we've got this fine map of the Fissure of Woe. This is an overhead view, so this is actually what it looks like. This isn't the uh, map from the Guild Wars game, because that map is terrible. So, before you hop into the Fissure of Woe, uh, you're going to be reordering your team, and so the order is going Spiker, Spiker, and those are either going to be 100 Blades Warriors or um, Thou of Strength Dervishes. So it's going to go Spiker, Spiker, uh, mop and then EOE, which is the ritualist, and the mop is the necromancer, and then UA, which is the monk, and then main tank, which is an assassin, and then you've got two more Terras. And uh, the main tank is, I guess, a Terra. Most pugs run it as a Terra, uh, but I don't recommend running it as a Terra. They call them Terras because they use earth magic, and um, yeah. Anyways, so you've got your main team. You guys uh, zone into the Fissure of Woe right there, and you can see you've got these nice pretty icons they made up in Photoshop just for you and um, <clears throat> you're gonna drop your 1k or 1.1k uh, for cons and you're gonna pop your cons Terra's are gonna head off to the left there and run all the way uh, to the battlefield at which point Terra 1 will start doing his quests and uh, Terra 2 will continue on main team during this time is going to be hopping around spiking dudes by the Tower of Courage that little blop right there is the Tower of Courage. Don't forget that. It's also abbreviated talk. It's actually, it's always abbreviated talk. Nobody ever calls it Tower of Courage. Um, there's two towers. There's a Tower of Courage, Tower of Strength, opposite sides of the map. That big thing in the middle is the forge, um, and then the front entrance and back entrance. Then you've got your cave, and your battlefield, and your burning forest, sometimes abbreviated BF, and then your wailing forest. Don't get those confused. <laughs> And then you've got your Kobe land place thingy, which nobody ever talks about, so that's fine. Anyways, main team's going to be doing the TOC quest there, Tower of Courage. Then they're going to head on to the battlefield, spike down the skeleton groups, and hopefully T2, if he's not a noob, will have uh, popped the forge, which means that they're going to drag a group of shadow people into skeleton people, and forge will have opened up. If not, main team's going to spike down that group in front of forge, and then at this point, Terra 1 should be long gone, done with the battlefield quests, killed the battlefield Shardwolf, gone over to Burning Forest, and should probably be done with Burning Forest as well by this time. Um, and then moving on to the Temple of Strength, right like that, and chilling there while the T2 is killing, or actually has taken the Shardwolf quest, and has killed its Beach Wolf and Cave Wolf. This part right there is a cave, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, and then there's the Beach right below it, and uh, the beach is where the beach wolf is, and the cave is where the cave wolf is, very special, so T2 will have, T2, excuse me, will have killed those guys, and uh, is waiting for the forge to be cleared by the main team, the main team is going to clear forge by doing a 360, um, actually they call it a 360, but it's actually about a 300 degree uh, path along the middle of the forge, and then the main tank will group everything up in a nice big ball, while the main spikers are going to hop around, spiking down the uh, caster groups until they finally spike the one big group, and it's a happy explosion of love and death and fire, and it's great. Um, if they don't do a 360, you're going to spike down groups individually. Um, a lot of people love 360s. I love 360s. You should love 360s, but the problem is, is that when you've got a new MT, the MT may not be so good at them. So if, you know, whatever's safer for you, ultimately, 360 versus going group by group, whatever. Anyways, once they're done there, they're going to kill some other Shadow Patrols that spawn and stuff like that. They're going to run over to the Wailing Forest and clear that place uh, like a boss. Uh, at this point, T1's going to be probably about halfway through TOS if he's, you know, not terrible. And T2 will have probably killed Kobe and will definitely have started on the Restore quest, which is in the cave. That's where they kill the five seeds. And at this point, T2 will run up and send the mage 
for the T1, uh, and all you have to do as T2 is run up and talk to the Tower Mage. Actually, you don't even have to talk to him. You just run by him, and um, if the T1 is ready, the Mage will just walk along the route, not getting attacked by any enemies because he's a boss, and T1 will have finished. T1, or T1 and T2 will have finished, and then main team is going to leave the Ritualist behind to take the quest. They're going to spike their way uh, all the way through the battlefield to the Temple of Tower of Courage, sorry, and then the Ritualist is going to bring the Spectral Griffins, or the Ghost Griffins, whatever they're called, for the quest, and then you're going to finish your Fissure of OSP clear. Yay! So, that's the video, first video in my series. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below. If you've got a guide you want to see that's not about Fissure of Woe, because I'm going to be making lots of Fissure of Woe guides, so just be patient. So post those guide ideas in the comment section below. And it's always nice to hear feedback from you guys. I like it. So, good luck with Guild Wars. Good luck with making money. And as always, I'm Lucian. This is the Modern Assassin. Check out my other guides if you find this one useful. And stay tuned for more. Alright, I'm out.